in the last week, the boys basketball team in Vermont, everyone is chasing, has changed, putting the target on Heinsberg for the final weeks of the season. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. CVU riding an eight-game winning streak into the week, claiming the top ranking in the VPA point system. But St. Albans was looking to spoil the fun on a big matchup on Monday. Red Hawks took the first matchup early in January. Bob White's looking for revenge. Tight couple opening minutes, but that's when Kyle Eaton starts to turn up from distance. Raining down from three right there. Got the assist from Alex Provost. This time a little pick and pop action from the top of the key. And then how about one more from the main man? Gets another assist from Provost. Corner three. He had three consecutive three-pointers as CVU goes on a big 14-0 run in the first quarter, extending their winning streak to nine with a 66-45 win. So CBU remaining the top dog still, but two big wins tonight as well. South Burlington getting to 10 wins on the season with a big one over Colchester and St. J extending its lead in the rankings over St. Albans after a 61-44 win against Burlington. So top team on the ice in action as well. And unlike past years, it hasn't been St. Albans. We're talking Essex. They've been the team to beat only one loss in Vermont coming into the night. Scoreless first period, that's when Andrew Forcier skates in with the puck, whiffs once. Look at the angle on that shot, though. Puts it into the top of the net to put the Hornets up one to nothing. Spectacular goal, got the fans fired up later in the period. Gavin Blunden trying to tack on. Great effort on the evening from Deegan Rathburn, the goalie for the Bob Whites, but Essex just too much. Brendan Dubray carries the puck in. Forcier going to be credited for the goal as Hornets roll 4-0 against the Bob Whites, remaining undefeated at home this season. The other big ticket of the night, U32 taking a 43-4-3 win uh, over Burlington after the Seahorses tried to make a late comeback bid in the third period with a trio of goals. CVU also grabbing a little bit of an upset, topping Colchester.